As you know, this is Sean McVay, Director of Adult Faith Formation here at St. Joseph's. And I'm recording this little video just to help our people from RCIA this year. Normally we have the missalette in the pew that you can follow along with for the responses at Mass. Right now these are not in the church and so I'm putting this together to help you be able to follow along and respond to the prayers when you come to Mass each week. And so uh, what I'm going to do is send you a link for this video and include a PDF of what I am going to share with you here. And there are, you can get these just about anywhere on the internet. This one I got from faithcatholic.com. Um, there were many different versions out there. What this is, is a summary of our prayers that we pray at Mass. So after the entrance song, we do the greeting. So the priest will say, the Lord be with you. This is on the top left-hand side of what I'm showing you here. And so he, the priest says, the Lord be with you. We say, and with your spirit. Then we have the penitential rite, and there's three forms. The most common ones you're going to hear are going to be form A and form C. So form A, we we recite this, I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Now, for this line, we actually beat our breasts through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Now, the way we will know if we're saying that or not is the priest will begin to say it and then we join in. For form B, the priest will say, have mercy on us, O Lord, and we say, for we have sinned against you. The priest will say, show us, O Lord, your mercy, and we respond and grant us your salvation. More often than not, this one is not used in many of the churches I have been in. It's it obviously can be used. I'm just saying that it commonly hasn't been in the churches that I've attended. Then form C is very common. The priest will say, Lord have mercy. We respond, Lord have mercy. He will say, Christ have mercy. We respond, Christ have mercy. He will say, Lord have mercy. We respond, Lord have mercy. Now the alternate to that form is the Greek translation of it. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Of course, he will say it first, we will respond, or I should say this actually, if it's being sung, the cantor will sing the first part where it says priest on here, and we would respond singing. Now we look over on the top right is the Gloria. This can be sung or recited. Right now we're reciting it because we're in the coronavirus pandemic and we're minimizing singing because of the, you know, the more we sing, the more we put vapors in the air, and that's what we're trying to avoid. So we go, we're going to recite the Gloria, glory to God in the highest, all the way down. Now the gospel dialogue, when the priest or deacon gets up to, to say, or excuse me, to proclaim the gospel, it's going to start with him saying, the Lord be with you, and we respond, and with your spirit. Then he'll announce the gospel, reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew or Mark or Luke or John, depending on who it is. We respond, glory to you, O Lord. And of course, that's when we make the little sign of the cross on our forehead, our lips, and over our hearts. Now, after the homily, we go into the profession of faith, which be begins on this one that I'm giving you. It's on the bottom right-hand side of page one and continues on to the top left-hand side of page two. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Now, I want to draw your attention to something. If you look at the top of the next page, you'll see a little gap there from the first paragraph listed to the second. Now, if you look up at the end of that first paragraph, it's talking about Jesus, and it says, And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. When we say that, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man, um, we bow. So it's not listed on this particular one, but that's something that we do. We bow when we recite the fact that God became man. We bow in reverence for Jesus for that. Then we continue on. 
For the sake, for our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. And you can see that our creed continues on. Now, when we get into the offertory, where we normally we bring up the gifts. In this situation, the gifts are placed on the altar. The priest will say a few prayers during that period, and then he we're and we're sitting at that point. He then invites us to publicly pray again. He'll say, pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Now, at that point, we are standing before he even says that usually. And then we respond, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. He'll continue on. And the next time that we're going to participate, he'll say, the Lord be with you. We respond, and with your spirit. He'll call us to lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord is our response. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We respond, it is right and just. Now, the next time that we are going to have a response is the holy, holy, holy. Very often, or normally even, it is sung, but in this current situation, we are reciting it. So we will recite the holy, holy, holy. Next comes the mystery of faith. There are three options for the mystery of faith. And if it's going to be sung, which in a normal circumstance it would, the cantor would just start singing which one we're going to do that day. Currently, the priest will typically start reciting the one that we'll be doing that day. So the three options are, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Option B is, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And option C, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. The next time we personally respond out loud is for the Lord's Prayer. Now, all of you know that. There's a slight variation, though. Normally when we say amen, we leave that out when we're praying the, our, the Lord's Prayer at Mass. We don't say amen. Instead, the priest will continue and say a prayer which ends in the, in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And we respond, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The next time we respond is when we do the sign of peace. So the priest will say, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And we respond, and with your spirit. Now in our current situation, that is our offering of peace. In, when we're not in this coronavirus <laughs> pandemic situation, we typically turn to one another and shake hands or make some kind of a gesture at that time. But again, right now, we're not doing that. The next thing we'll do after that, after the sign of peace, is the Lamb of God. This is often sung, but right now we are just reciting it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. After we are kneeling, the priest will raise the elevated or the consecrated host in his hand, which is now the body of Christ. And he'll say, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. We respond, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Now the last time we are going to respond in this prayerful dialogue we have with the priest who stands in the person of Christ he will say at the very end in the concluding rites, the Lord be with you, and we respond, and with your spirit. Now, the priest or deacon is going to say one of the following four lines here, go forth, the mass is ended, or one of the others, and our response to that, whichever it is, is thanks be to God. Now, when we get to the Easter season again, he will actually say, go forth, the mass is ended, alleluia, alleluia. And we would respond, thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. So in the Easter season, we attach two alleluias on the end because we're majorly celebrating the resurrection of Christ. So I hope this is going to help you as you come to Mass each week. Um, being that we don't have the missalette that we normally would, I'm hoping this will help. Now this PDF that you have that I'm, I'm going to send to you is... Um, something that you could save on your phone, hopefully, if you have like a smartphone, and you could pull it up and follow along at Mass. 
they are allowing people to use their smartphone to follow along with the music as well. Um, right now we're doing tickets for mass, so people bring a ticket, printed out ticket, it's fine for you to also bring a printout of your responses. You could print this front to back on one sheet of paper and use it each week and just make sure you take it with you when you leave and uh, this will help you really participate fully in the Mass and that's something the church really calls us to is full active conscious participation in the liturgy. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to seeing you at Mass. Until then, take care and God bless.